ladies and gentlemen, I'm still with you and I'm still Anna Yermakova and now we are in another place. It is historical park and the main attraction here in this park is uh, Panorama Museum that you can see in front of you. By the way, please uh, feel uh, free to move uh, everything on your screen. You can uh, watch everything in 360 degrees. And uh, what is Panorama Museum? I have to say that it is one of four Panorama Museums on the territory of Russian Federation that we have nowadays. And our Sevastopol Panorama is considered to be one of the best panoramas in the world. Uh, what is its name? Panorama Defense of Sevastopol of 1854-55. And this museum is dedicated to Crimean War. That very terrible, cruel war that happened on the territory of our peninsula in the very middle of the 19th century. And during this war, Russian Empire struggled with four countries, Great Britain, France, Ottoman Empire, and even the Kingdom of Sardinia. And when you are inside, you have a chance to, I mean inside Panorama, you have a chance to see a wonderful, extraordinary canvas that is considered to be the masterpiece of uh, the battle painting and what you will see there it's not a fantasy of the artist one real day is depicted in this canvas the day when for the very first time during this Crimean war Russian army and Russian soldiers those who defended Sevastopol tried to repulse French attack from Malachov Hill Bastion it was one of the most important bastions for Sevastopol defenders and of course for the <coughs> Not so far from Panorama Museum, a little bit on the left, you can see the anchors from the scuttled ships, so those ships that were scuttled at the very beginning of uh, the siege of Sevastopol. But later, when we are on uh, the territory of our marine park or marine boulevard, we will have a chance to see even the monument to the scuttled ships. A little bit to the right from Panorama, from the building itself, uh, a little bit later, we will come a little bit closer there. We will see real Russian cannons, those cannons that uh, were real participants of the Crimean War. And we will see several monuments there. One of them will be the monument to the defenders of the Fourth Bastion. And uh, also there we will see very small, very modest, I can say, monument to Leo Tolstoy, very famous Russian writer who took part in the Crimean War. 